In this video, I've gathered a variety of Skyrim mods, ranging from recently released astonishing ones to hidden gems. I've categorized them extensively, covering gameplay, outfits, weapons, and visuals. So, without further ado, let's get started right away. First, let me introduce a few mods related to gameplay. Firstly, there's Lively Farms. Lively Farms is a mod that adds more diversity to Skyrim's farms. This mod introduces green apple trees, red apple trees, pear trees, tomato plants, and carrots to the farms. Additionally, it allows you to create new dessert recipes using pears, seamlessly integrated into Skyrim's food crafting system. Some farms also feature scarecrows, and enhancements like oven stations are added to Lorius Farm and Merryfair Farm, providing an excellent upgrade to the diversity of Skyrim's farming experience. Next, we have the Open Animation Replacer Detection plugin. This SKSE64 plugin adds new conditions to Open Animation Replacer, making it an interesting mod for users of OAR. With this plugin, you can play animations compatible with mods like immersive equipment displays and simple dual sheath. For instance, depending on where you've equipped your weapon or shield, it can showcase different draw sheath animations. The plugin can be used in conjunction with OAR's default conditions and provides an in game editor for customization. Note that this plugin requires OAR version 2.0.1 or above, so be sure to consider this when installing. In this segment, I'd like to introduce a few hidden gems that I believe could be helpful for you. I've brought along some mods that I think might benefit you. First up is Ultra Great Swords. This mod introduces the concept of Ultra Great Swords, heavier weapons than Great Swords, into Skyrim. It adds a total of 13 Ultra Great Swords, ranging from Iron Weapons to Daedric. These weapons are heavier, slower, more expensive than Great Swords, but they come with the advantage of a longer reach and powerful damage and stagger effects. While originally designed to be used in conjunction with the recently featured Delia Animation mod, the idea of introducing the concept of Ultra Great Swords to the world of Skyrim seems quite excellent, irrespective of Delia's motions. For those who found the weapons in Vanilla Great Swords too small compared to their expectations, give this mod a try to add larger and more powerful weapons to your Skyrim experience. Next up is Sidekick is Healer SSE. This mod adds a healing role to your companions, enhancing the immersion and improving combat dynamics with your allies. By equipping your companion with an item called Mara's Dogma, included with this mod, the companion will take on the role of a healer. One notable feature of this mod is that when the character's health drops below a certain threshold, the companion will approach and cast healing spells directly on the character. Now. Embark on thrilling adventures with a healer by your side, instead of traveling alone. Next, we have Simple NPC Dodge. This mod allows NPCs in Skyrim to perform dodges during combat. NPCs will learn the dodge ability after reaching level 15, and they have a 50% chance to dodge power attacks and a 15% chance to dodge regular attacks. Dodging becomes impossible when Stabena falls below 25%. After successfully dodging, NPCs won't dodge again for 7 seconds. NPCs wielding spells in their right hand are exempt from dodging. Unlike other combat framework overhaul mods that encompass various features, this mod specifically focuses on enhancing the dodge ability of NPCs. If you've noticed that your NPCs aren't utilizing dodges effectively, consider using this mod to improve their combat behavior. In this segment, I'll introduce several mods that can enhance the visual aspects. I've selected a few mods that I believe will be helpful for you. Firstly, let's talk about JS Solitude Sewer Cover SE. This mod, created by Jonskyrim, 
presents a fresh rendition of Solitude's sewer covers with new meshes and textures. It comes in 1K, 2K, and 4K versions. And since it doesn't require an ESP file, you can install it anytime during gameplay. Next up is Diverse Farm Fences, Base Object Swapper. Using the Base Object Swapper framework, this mod dynamically changes the fences around farms in Skyrim based on each region. The arrangement of rustic branches forms a distinctive and impressive enclosure around the farms, providing an opportunity to experience a variety of fences. Next, we have Wrighton Winterhold. This mod retextures the buildings and landscapes of Winterhold with high-quality textures. As you can see in the video, the texture of the bricks is exceptionally sharp and of high quality. Based on this, the overall architectural style of the Winterhold College is upgraded, and the window color is enhanced with the application of an orange tint. If you've been a fan of Wrighton's architectural style, you should definitely consider adding this mod to your collection. Next up is Natural Waterfalls, Dawnguard. This is part of the Natural Waterfalls series for Dawnguard, reconstructing the waterfalls in the respective region based on natural waterfalls. It certainly presents much more natural-looking waterfalls compared to the vanilla version, so viewers using natural waterfalls might find it worthwhile to add this to their collection as well. In this segment, I'd like to introduce a few outfit and weapon mods. First up is Fuse's Freya Armor. It adds a lore-friendly, gray, and khaki combination outfit to Skyrim. The overall texture quality is excellent, seamlessly blending into the Skyrim universe. The leather belt in the middle adds a touch of sophistication to the outfit, and the boots and gloves, also made of leather, further enhance the overall appearance of your character. Next, we have the light Dragonbone armor. This armor mod not only boasts an impressive appearance, but also effectively showcases the character's body contours. Given that the main material is dragon bones, it could have been challenging to express the character's body lines. However, the creator has done an excellent job of capturing the armor's aesthetics. The helmet, designed in a mask style, allows your character's hair to be prominently displayed, and the chainmail on the chest enhances the robust appearance of your character. Thank you for joining us in this must-have new Skyrim Mods Showcase. Whether you're looking to enhance your Skyrim gameplay, elevate your visuals, or discover some hidden gems, we've got you covered. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting Skyrim content. Keep modding, and we'll see you in the next adventure. Until then, happy modding, and may your Skyrim journey be filled with endless excitement. Take care and stay legendary.